All right, so I did some work on a 2008 uh, X5, BMW X5, 3.0, uh, 6HP19. And it came in, came to me from a wholesale account. Uh, and the complaint was when it got hot, I think it had to happen hot, cold, everything was working okay, but when it got hot, and uh, they selected a reverse or they selected drive and then they went to take off the car jumped back into park okay which pretty much is a fairly common problem uh, we see that quite often with these so what's actually going on here uh, first of all there's two types of valve bodies uh, in these uh, ZF units there is the uh, e-shift which is the electronic shift which has uh, a park button and the shifter pretty much uh, you know for reverse you push the button in and push it forward and drive you bring it back uh, and then you have the M shift which you know pretty much is a manual shift your conventional shifter so with the E shift valve bodies what happens is the seal the brick seal which is this, I, this is uh, totally broken up, I'll give you a close-up shot of it, uh, is broken, and you have a tremendous loss of clutch pressure. So, on the mechatronics, you have the input and the output speed sensor, okay, and it's reading input speed in park. So when you select reverse or drive, that input speed should go to zero. But with the tremendous amount of clutch slippage from the research that I've done, uh, the RPM does not go to zero and the computer recognizes this as a as a, a, a clutch slippage and to save the transmission when you go to take off it jumps back into park okay I had code uh, on this 507 B park gear sensor implausible and also when I went to clear the code I had this code when I first scanned the car but when I went to clear the code, it also had um, a gear monitoring one, so which is gear ratio error in first. I don't remember what that code number was, but generically it would be a PO731. Uh, so it's seeing a, a, a big loss in, in clutch pressure. Um, again, that what the, from the research I've done, the RPM input RPM should be reading zero. It's probably not reading zero, and it recognizes that and puts it back in the park as a safety feature. So let me get a little closer here and I'll give you a close-up shot of this bridge seal. And I just have to pan here on the bench and the, and the sleeve, the mechatronic sleeve as well, uh, because these are things when I do this seal, I also uh, do the sleeve and the pan, because number one, the uh, sleeve likes to leak and the pan has the filter incorporated with it. And this, you know, had I don't know, probably 80, 90,000 miles on it, so I always like to do that. Uh, so let me get a little closer, and I'll give you a shot of this uh, uh, bridge seal uh, up close, you know, uh, with the crack in it. So give me one second, let me just get a little closer. All right, so here is the seal, or the bridge seal, and this has a nice crack in it right here. The thing was totally uh, split apart. All right, this side is, is pretty much intact, but this side is, is totally split apart here. Here is uh, a new one, you know, that's uh, brand new. I like to keep one of these in stock because it's a fairly common problem. I also like to keep a sleeve in stock, you know, because the sleeves like to leak, these like to break, and the pans uh, I just order as I need. Now there are uh, aftermarket pans out there because uh, I have I have a um, uh, a parts guy uh, soliciting me for business and he calls me you know a couple times a week asking me if I need anything bought a couple of things but then I was working on this car so I asked him about this pan so I said what's your price and availability on a ZF pan and is it an OE pan uh, so I guess he went into his computer and he said we have the pan in stock and it's $62. So I knew right away that's an aftermarket pan and I said that's not an OE pan because this pan uh, from, from Transtar cost me uh, uh, over 100 And 
I don't really choose to use always uh, aftermarket stuff on on these high end cars because in the past when at one point I did and the reason why that is is because I caught another supplier selling me aftermarket filters uh, which is a five dollar filter for forty dollars which is an OE filter and then I come to realize that if it's an OE filter it'll say Filtran on it it'll say made in Germany on it and uh, when those filters went in a 5 HP 24 right off the bat the car did not work correctly so aftermarket stuff on these high-end cars is no good and on that 5 HP 24 was a Jaguar and I had mentioned that um, in uh, another video I don't know if it's out there if I don't have it in yet uh, up on my channel yet but um, I wouldn't go aftermarket stuff on these uh, ZF units uh, even though it is available and it's much much cheaper uh, I think it may give you some issues so I just wanted to uh, share with you this uh, this bridge seal broken bridge seal here in this uh, 6 HP 19 pretty common problem on the 19s and the 26s and pretty much when you have this uh, uh, e-shift valve body which is uh, parked by wire uh, and you go to select reverse or drive and the seal is cracked uh, you'll go to take off and this thing will jump back into park uh, on you and then you will know right away that uh, this is your problem all right and one other thing that they like you to check on on these cars is the uh, I guess the I guess it would be the the cable uh, on the outside of the transmission to make sure it's adjusted correctly and when it's adjusted correctly the stop is um, just a little bit just a little bit past there's kind of like a uh, a loop area where the cable goes through and the, the stop of the cable is just past that a little bit uh, I don't know exactly what the exact measurement is but that's one of the things to look at if it's right up against the stop then it's not adjusted correctly but most of the time I've, I've really never seen an issue with that but they do mention it as something to look at, especially if you have this code, this 507B code. That's one thing they want you to check, but being the fact that this jumped back into park uh, when you know drive or reverse was selected, I knew right away that this bridge seal was the problem. So I just wanted to share that little thing with you guys on this uh, 6HP19. I thank you guys for watching and have a great day.